to live the life you want to versus the life you hate. That's what we have the power to do. But but it, it's really serious mental work. It's constant every day. So you hear me tell people, you hear me tell people that, hey, listen, you got to be consistent. Consistency is key. This is why, because you are programming a subconscious mind, is that this is what this individual or this being wants to experience. Right? And so if you, you know, people, people get sick of me because, you know, they're like, ah, oh, you do the same thing every day. I sure do. I sure do. I don't have everything perfect, but I know I have power over irregular patterns in my life. And I know that as the more I can focus, the more I can change things and I can create the reality that I want. And I often do. You know, I go through the same things everyone else goes through. But I know that this power is real. And this is huge because, you know, when we're talking about uh, being able to make impressions on the subconscious mind, right, we, we, we have to go back to understanding that the reason why the subconscious is dominating the conscious experience that we have is because we're only using one tenth of our brain power. So a lot of people are okay with that. They're like, oh yeah, hey, did you hear that? Did you hear what they said? That, that scientist just said that we only use 10% of our brain capacity. Man, that's crazy. Hey, pass me that beer. Oh, hey, hey y'all ready to go on vacation? And it's like, what? <laughs> What did we need to, we need that this conversation ain't over. Where's the other ninety percent? But because we don't really care about that, oftentimes, or we don't, we we've been suggested that it doesn't matter because everything is already. All you gotta do is follow this system, and everything is laid out for you. You ain't gotta worry about it. And so we let down our guard. The gatekeeper of our subconscious mind it says, oh, "Okay, Simon says it's okay to make to to hear these suggestions." Right. They're using just 10 percent of your brain power. You, you wouldn't want to use all 100 percent anyway, because you would implode. Well, you, you do want to when you are fully aligned and evolve in align with your divinity and you understand the different aspects of yourself, the physical body temple, the spiritual whole on. Right. That gives the mind elasticity to move in different dire directions and then the electronic and light body and how that is able to be an instrument, a receptor of frequencies from the universe. And now those frequencies can be processed right here in this central nervous system, this brain, and it can help us create whatever we want like that. But most of us, we just want somebody to do it all for us. And we okay with just a, a few, a couple of vacations a year, making some good money, you know, being able to, you know, have some nice, uh, a nice shelter, clothes and be able to have a joyful life you know and, and 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 sometimes we can but it's more to it than that right because we're immersed into a system that wants to program us to be artificial it doesn't want us to operate through the fullness of our nature because now the whole thing doesn't work the same the, the system of control doesn't work the same over the mind so these are the things that we're policing up and I, i'll tell you brother shem uh, you know, most people know we 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 study and teach. Uh, you 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 uh, teach and study more science. Uh, we we teach the law of time and the, the hollow mind perceiver, so that people can see the, a different image of themselves as beings. You see, if you see yourself, if you you can say that hey, I'm a champion, I'm a winner. But when you go look in the mirror, you go look at it. I'm fat. I'm ugly. Every time I try, I lose. So you, it's not in your heart. The winner ain't in, ain't in your heart yet. You'll know when it's in your heart because your heart will override difficulties to stay on track. You see, somebody said they got a lot of heart. The heart really is the key to a change of the mind. It really is. And, and, and so, so when we do this, now we got to move into this gatekeeper position so that we can police what comes through that subconscious conscious mind, because it's going to take root, it's going to grow, and it's going to take over our experience. And so just to uh, uh, say something else for uh, uh, Brother Shim, get some last words. Uh, we're going to be having a, a new kin. We, we deal with the 260 expressions of the creator through the galactic consciousness of the law of time. The law of time being that energy factor by time is art, time being the evolution of consciousness. 
So that's what we want to get to. We want to keep evolving our consciousness so that we're aware first of, of what we have access to. The other 90% is there. We're just blocking it. And then how to use it when we get it. So now the conscious and the subconscious merge. Okay. And now you are conscious over your subconscious thoughts and you, and, 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 and now you being conscious of it, that's when you can start making things happen a lot faster with CD consciousness. You think about it and it just show up. So we got to be careful what we think at that point. We got to know how to align ourselves or else it's a problem. So if those of you that want to, uh, are new and want to perhaps uh, get on to our uh, a new kin orientation, if you're new and get your kin number and stuff, I put a link in the chat. We're going to actually do that at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so we have to get off here in a few moments if you want to join that and we do a overview of some of the uh, evolutionary tools and mimic and also uh, we get you oriented with your kin number and that kind of thing and uh, uh, as brother Shem is talking brother Shem please uh, as you give some final remarks please let people know how they can purchase your book and uh, you know get more information on your YouTube channel because brother you laid this information out I love your energy I love your delivery and it just gets me amped up <laughs> It really does. So I'm going to turn it back to you just for some closing remarks before we go. Thank you, brother. Likewise, I, I love the energy you bring in, in as well. Um, before I do my closing remarks, anyone who wants to get in contact with me, um, you can go to my website, shemel.com, S-H-E-M hyphen E-L.com. My YouTube channel is Shemel. You can just Google it, Shemel. us getting back to our divinity, recognizing and acknowledging our divinity within us. I like how you mentioned about um, earlier about Muhammad Ali, you know, saying he's the greatest. And, you know, we know that a lot of that had to do with his change in the information he received at the time with the Nation of Islam through Elijah Muhammad and the predecessor to that was the Moral Science Temple. You know, um, the successor of that, some would say, would be the nation, the gods and nerds, the 5% center. But in each of them, there, in all these different dynamics, there is a, there is a concept or an idea that you are actually God in flesh. The dynamic of you are divinity in flesh. You know, we, outside of the... Um, you know, regardless of whether you take a personal concept of religious belief or not, outside of the religion, there is acknowledgement that the divine, even in the Bible, you know, I like how um, the brother you spoke to yesterday talked about in the Bible, it talked about ye are gods, right? In the book of Psalms. So we've been programmed, speaking of the subconscious mind and default programming, is that we're less than gods. You'll hear people say, well, you know, we're only human. Ain't nobody perfect. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm making mistakes. You know, this is just how it is. And then, like you said, add that on with the circumstantial default of blaming things on things outside of you. It keeps you in that perpetual slave mind, right? Not even the God or the student mind, but the slave mind that's spoken about in the Kabbalion. So we got to raise up to that God mind. And I love what you're doing with the hollow mind perceiver for us really to tap into our mind and really explore it because those who is only going to be for those who really want to raise up their vibration to the level of divinity. Everybody's not going to embrace it, but for those who do, this is perfect. So I just want to give you honors for the work you're doing, you know, as well. And I'll just bring it back to you, brother. Peace. Well, brother, uh, we got a lesson tonight and uh, we got a gift in you, Brother Shem, uh, as well. And just uh, how you your delivery is just so organized and precise. And, um, you know, we really have some work to do. And like I like what you said. This ain't for everybody. You know, when I talked about taking responsibility, you see, there he is. I am and the creator 
of my experience, you know, a lot of people don't want the responsibility of that. They want to be able to blame it on something else. Okay. And this is what, how the force matrix works, you know, cause as long as I can get you to think that the power of you is outside of you, then now you're going to be a victim of circumstance. So this ain't for everybody. That's why there's only a few people on here. Everybody don't want to deal into this because it is, it, and they, they hadn't, it hadn't been enough pain yet. <laughs> right. And that's okay. We're going to be right here when the shift happens. But the, the key thing, once we, the shift does happen and we, we know how to focus and we can be truthfully honest with ourselves about what we are experiencing and what we need to adjust and what we need to change. This is how the power of God takes through and then shows us exactly what to do, you know, through our intuition, through a voice, right? And many of us don't even listen to that. We, we question our, our intuition. We'll go get somebody and talk to somebody who has not had the experience you're talking about and listen to them before we listen to our own intuition and we got the experience along with it. So we got to be very careful now. We got, it's, it's a responsibility and an accountability thing. And we're going to be accountable. If something shows up in my life and I don't appreciate it or I don't like it, then I need to go in and, and fix me. And it, everything that I fix in me is going to be fixed into my life. And so this is the, where we need to take the mind now. Is it more work to do? Yes. It's a lot of work to do because it took a lot to get uh, our mind where it is today. But if we are diligent and focused, we can do it and we can really put ourselves in an incredible position to evolve all together as a species and have a different kind of experience. Like I always say, Brother Shem, we're moving from the information age into the telepathic age. And so this conversation is not just very real, it's necessary. It's not just something that's nice and interesting, it's necessary. If you want to survive or be able to thrive in the, the world as it's coming into being right now. So with that being said, join us if you can for our new kin orientation and mimic overview. I'm sure you will really enjoy it. Uh, and uh, get your kin number and all that kind of stuff or just come in and see. Uh, we'll be uh, uh, talking about this again because uh, I, I think, Brother Shem, I think we need to keep this going. We did decided to do a three-part series, but you all let us know if we should continue this because I am being fed greatly by these conversations and i know that if other people are being fed like like we're being fed that there's tremendous growth coming behind that along the way all right so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and close out thank you guys for coming on and, and listening thank you brother shim for all your depth of knowledge and all your articulation and 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 being able to approach this and uh, i look forward to uh being in a position where we're doing this again all right, so stay tuned. We may be able to do, do this again next Tuesday. Peace.